Hi guys, my name is Prince Sethi and today we are going to do for each loop in VBA. For each loop, I think it's the best loop uh, in VBA. Uh, earlier we did uh, for loop where we do have starting number and we do have a definite end number. But while when you are dealing with the collection, the concepts of initial value or a final value isn't be meaningful. And you don't necessarily know how many elements uh, the collection has. In this kind of case, for each loop is the best uh, uh, loop, I think so. So let's see how it's been work over here. I'm just giving an example so that you can uh, understand it in a more efficient way. Uh, like I do have a few values over here. I'm taking some dummy value like uh, nothing else. I'm just taking a few dummy values and uh, I need to check if uh, okay. I'm taking a simple example firstly okay so okay so like I do have few values I do have uh, one two three four five and whatever it is so uh, my question is in this range like seven value I need to highlight 7 each and every time when it's been repeated like it will check this value if this is 7 then then it will be get highlighted if it's not then it will leave this value it will work like this way when it will reach over here then it will go 7 and it gets highlighted mean to say this is the total range the entire range we have to check each and every element if it gets satisfied then it has to be worked accordingly or if it's not been matched mm -hmm. or the condition not gets fulfilled then it will work accordingly fine so uh, my output should have to be like this way like 7 is there so whatever like gets highlighted again checks 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 over there and so on when it's come when it's reach over there then again it gets highlighted and uh, this way okay so let's see how it's been working fine so I'm just writing a code for the same okay delete this thing so I'm inserting a module insert module okay so creating a sub procedure for the same by the name of subject for each loop example one <coughs> okay so I need to check each and every well element so for each for each cells in range like it's a a seven two K nineteen A seven two K nineteen and next. I'm explaining what I'm doing as of now. So what it will do, it will check each and every cell in this particular range. I can do one more thing over here, like I can create an object of this particular range as well, like set dot like sheet one dot range a seven two k nineteen made to say every time I have to use this particular range so instead to use uh, these words I can take this word okay so mean to say instead of this thing I can take it dot as well fine or you can do one more thing over here you can take it as a current reason as well like I can I'm just mentioning like for each cell in range k7 dot current reason even I can take this way also so it will check this will be the entire region and it will check each and every element in this particular region so it's up to you 
uh, but over here like if I would be having the area like this way then it will check only in this particular region ok but uh, through uh, object like I have created toad object for this particular range so it's up to you you can create it in a dynamic way also ok so anyways I am leaving this thing I think I have I will already uh, discussed this thing in my previous videos so for further reference you can see you can watch those videos as well so as of now I am deleting this thing and uh, I am taking the toad concept and deleting this thing as well ok so in this particular range I have to check if the particular cell value is equal to 7 so mean to say if cells is equals to 7 then what I have to do I have to okay, cell dot interior dot color index should be 5 and and if so mean to say if it's equivalent to 7 then make it blue otherwise leave it fine so I can do one more thing as well I can do cell dot select mean to say that particular cells get select as well ok so let's see how it's been working over here so I'm running it through F8 ok ok so cell gets select the first cell gets selected so it's not equivalent to 7 so it will leave it leave it leave it see it's been working so doing this way so get highlighted and so on mean to say it will check each and every cell in this particular range and if the condition gets match and eh, it will get highlighted automatically or otherwise it will leave those particular cell ok so I am running this ok that is fine so it I can do one more thing over here if you want to take it in, it's in else condition as well so you can so if it is equivalent to 7 then make it 7 otherwise uh, this way so I'm running this through fine so rest of cells gets highlighted with the blue uh, so the with the yellow cell and 7 gets highlighted with the blue cell so it's up to you you can make it uh, condition formatting as well through this way like if it's a less than 5 then it's guess uh, it's highlighted with red color or if it's between 5 to 7 then it gets highlighted with the uh, yellow color or after that uh, green in color or something like that so, so it's up to you ok but the, my concept was to deal with each and every cell in this particular range ok so I am taking one more example ok so even you can do one thing over here like if the cell value is even then it gets highlighted this way or it's an odd then it gets highlighted in with the other color or whatever the condition is so as of now I am taking one more example mm -hmm. ok so I am just making it copy pasting over there so I do have uh, number value in this particular condition so I think it's an, uh, it could be an important example for you sometime when you just extract the data from a website or from an application so it's a number of times you'll see that a few numbers value gets converted into text so I'm just showing it to you how it looks like like this way I'm just making few so over here okay so over here along with the number we do have some text value as well so if you count them or if you apply any mathematical operation on them so it will not work like I'm just showing it to you what I just want to say over here like if you take the sum of these three value so it has to be 27 but it's showing 20 only just because 7 is a text value so if you applying any other functions like VLOOKUP or, 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 or any mathematical operation so it will not perform or it will not uh, show you the result accordingly so my task is to just to convert these these text value into number so let's see how it could be done through VBA so again I am going over there I am running a loop like sub 
for each loop example 2 same way I same way I'm just taking this thing okay set dot dot it's my uh, it's not an uh, keyword actually dot mean to say total or it's up to you you can take other word as well sheet to dot range or oh, it's a uh, a8 to k20 okay k20 or you can do it through i means you can find through uh, last row as well okay so my concept is for each cell in dot taking next value so over here i have to check cell value and I have to check if this is my text so for that I have to go into library library function uh, like I do have a library function is text so mean to say I have to check if cell value is equal to text then what it needs to be do what it needs to be done and if it's a, a value then leave it as it is okay so I'm applying if a worksheet function dot here you can see your function is text okay is text which text the cell value if it's a true then what needs to be done then I have to convert this cell value cell value into val of cell or you can use c int function or uh, conversion function as well you can use it's up to you and i'm making it end if over here so let's see i think it has to be work mm, okay so let's see we're uh, doing one more thing cell dot select selected fine uh, okay seven gets no merit okay if you have observed like I'm coming over there so let's see this thing yes it's converted I'm running through this program okay perfectly now all the text value gets converted into number format so this could be the second example so I hope you are enjoying or you are getting understand this concept so if you want you can uh, go through my other videos as well to understand this this concept so one more example uh, okay so like uh, a practical example I'm just taking like uh, I do have few values over here mm, like January sorry spelling mistake J -A, J A N U A R Y okay so what I'm doing as of now okay these are the few months so might be possible with these values my sheets are gets connected okay like I do have sheet 5 6 okay I'm taking one more example sheet 2 sheet 3 sheet 4 and sheet 5 so what I have done over here 3 4 and 5 <coughs> so this is okay sorry so this is linked with sheet 3 this is linked with sheet 4 this is linked with sheet 5 and this is linked with sheet 6 okay so my concept is to remove the hyperlinks so I do have a collection of hyperlinks and I have to check each and every hyperlink if it contain the links it needs to be deleted
okay so might be possible in my entire sheet there could be lots of uh, hyperlink so it will uh, detect automatically and delete them so for that I'm just writing a code sub for each loop example 3 okay so mean to say for each each now uh, it's up to you means uh, if you want to give its name hyperlink or if you want to give its uh, the hyperlink or ABC or whatever so it doesn't matter so hyperlink so I'm just mentioning HL hyperlink whatever in it is in active sheet the matter over here is hyper links this has to be correct the hyperlinks mean to say HL is a collection of hyperlinks or you can make it hyperlink as well so it's up to you so it doesn't matter so next so I have to use this word now so whatever the word you have taken over here HL dot delete okay so let's see deleted sheet 3 if you observe sheet 4 deleted 5 6 it automatically jumps on on those particular cells which contain hyperlink and whatever the situation you have given it will work accordingly fine I think you have enjoyed this video and you have learnt whatever I have uh, told you thank you for watching thank you so much